So you have to determine what kind of role model do you want to be in the future. It starts from now. The director decides, he sees this thing and he knows immediately what's wrong with it. We're going to make a film this afternoon here, a five minute film. We will shoot it, we will act it, shoot it and edit it right here. You are the hope of the Niger Delta. You and the shop can be changed. Now some reports came to me this morning that who is involved is actually subject to expulsion. I chose you people for a reason. If you fail, I fail. So let our day begin. The day I was being made the director of my team was, was quite a surprise to me, though, because if, if you're looking from my size, I, I don't think if I will even be a director, or if you're looking from my gender. That's another thing I won't forget. Um, singer, I hear you say you want fire director. No, 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 no. Eh? I'm not talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> not let the director fire you. The director tells you to leave my set, go and wait outside. You can't, you only see no. The fact that she's a woman does not mean anything, no. But in the production, I can, as a producer, I can also decide director. No, that's why you are here. And that's when you are not in this seven, when you are doing your own outside. <laughs> when you are doing your own outside, you can say, no, I don't want this director. You can go and hire a director, but amongst you seven, this is the director that I chose for you people. Good. You have to respect her or I mean you. And you, when you respect her, other people respect her. You need to make people realize that. This is true. Then I know that in, during the casting, it's me and the director that we do it. Yes, but she has the final say. <laughs> she has the final say. She will confer with you. Both of you can talk and plan. And you must respect her. But in final say of everything on the set, is her. Yes. <laughs> no, I know that. It doesn't that she was saying some, some kind of thing that. that the the director director not to to <laughs> That's what I uh, something. Like this is my chosen director. Okay. We accepted this. The way I put a lot of responsibility on you to, to write the script, to produce, to edit, to design. The way I chose him to be to be on the camera. Right? The same way I chose as director. You people must elevate her. Because if you do not elevate her, you cannot be successful. So let me talk. Since you people have decided to drown her voice, this you tried to insist that she should act. She said she did not want to act. You people insist that she came to clarify for me. 
do I have to act or do I? I said, what do you want to do, your director? She said, I don't want to ask. I said, why have you not? And I said, I have told them and they insist. I said, they have no right to insist when you have told them otherwise. You now came to me to try to explain. I said, I don't want to hear your explanation. All I know is that the director has spoken. You have to listen. Listen, I understand. But I tell you, you will have challenges in future. You know what those challenges are? That the little girl that you know, that you have known, now you're no, It is normal. Let's go, let's go, master. We are, we are okay. Oh, yeah. Jordan Jordan. is not my problem. Uh, lucky. The problem is that you're not your director. You're your director. Dede. Dede, go and Dede, don't let me be disappointed if you go and protect that girl. You don't have any problem with her. Go and protect her. No problem. She's your director. Protect her. Ah, Call me that bear. Come on, come on. Here you go. She's the boss on this set right now. Boss, can we start? I've been teaching you people this thing for so long. How can you disrespect your director like that? You don't do that. We're well, ready now. We're ready to start. Easy, but you are not taking it. But this is a training. There are positions in this training. You must work with yes, them. You're not ready to work. I want to brought all this idea. Are you not seeing colors? Not the idea. Not the idea. If I'm not, I will not go to upstairs and get to I was running around and I got all these things. You must assume that position. Let everybody assume their position. Let nobody go to that position. That is what I am saying. I am on my position. I have done them. I am still working. It's not a move. I wasn't really happy about it, but thank God we settled it amicably. You think I feel it now? I don't need you Okay. After our training, our boss told us that he's going to bring some stars for us so that we will direct them. You should see how we're going to direct stars outside there. And I was so happy about it. Actually, I've not met any any stars one on one. So Chelsea and uh, and uh, OC, they are the first act actors and actress I met. So when they asked me to direct them, it was like, wow, how can I how can I direct these people? He's what you call an amazing talent. What did I say? Amazing talent. Great. And this is Chelsea. A few years ago, she won the award for um, Best Upcoming Actress, right? At the AMA Awards. So they are my people the way you guys are my people. I hope you understand. So I was able to call them this morning to tell them, come and inspire my students. Come and present yourselves to them so they can direct you, so they can produce something with you a couple of minutes that's gonna help you guys become filmmakers. You get it right? So if you can work with him now, who you go fear to work with later? You understand? Okay, also, but this is what we're going to do to make it convenient for you guys, right? Let's sit with them and come up with some improvisation of um, a minute on how we're going to do it. And they'll shoot it, they'll edit it, they'll do everything, and we can look at it and see if, if it makes sense. In 10 minutes, you guys can come up with something. Just remember, it has to be something that shows that we can seek other avenues of solving our problems other than violence. Oh, yeah, Carigo. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Why don't you guys have a rehearsal session, right? Have a rehearsal session with one director each, right? Then both of you come out and tell me the director you think is strong enough to direct you guys. This is him. Get him to warm up to you. Talk to him. Talk to him. My name is Moses. Moses, Chelsea, you're welcome. Good. Now, get so you become a director. Good. Go ahead. Uh, we'll take this little assistant to our house. We'll take this little assistant to our house. Take this little assistant. So, you go first come out. Uh, when it come out, she will call your name. We'll see. Come out. Mm -hmm. She will run flowing for back. Who you say? We'll see. Where you did go? 
Yeah, yeah. Then, I did go to the, I did go join them. First of all, Bridget uh, had a total understanding of what she wanted out of the scene before we even started. So she knew exactly what she wanted um, as a director and what she wanted to see from the actors. She had an idea of what she wanted the scene to be like, even though she's not an art director, but she knew when the positions were going to be. She had a rough idea of what the blocking was, and she effectively communicated what she wanted us to do. Matter of fact, going through the processes of staging you here, staging you here, and then taking you through the emotional beats of what she wants out of the actors. So that at this point, this is what you're feeling, at this point, this is what you're feeling. She did that for, for me, basically, for us. For us. That's as if she's spoken for you. <laughs> yes. Are you sure? Yes. I was watching her. She was, you know, relating with them as friends. But in my own part, I was, you know, no. Uh, 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 Chelsea is a girl who is, is a guy of my age, so I, I can speak to him boldly. Hey, you do this, you do that. I don't want to be scared that they are stars, but I don't have that manner of approach of you know talking to the cast. Finally, they took uh, Bridget to continue the directing, but well, I see it as a as maybe a start. Okay, so. We can all move there while you direct them, then we're all gonna watch. This time you tell your camera where you want your camera to be. <laughs> Let me teach you one secret that I use. There are certain times I don't, I don't direct my, my characters in the open. One more thing, it is your relationship with him. Everybody does not have to hear what you want to tell him. Do you understand? So you can make the telling in front of everybody. At the same time, you tell in front of everybody. At the same time, you just tell him, don't you think it would be better to do this? And most times, you're suggesting it to him while giving it to him. Because they're very, very proud people. So at times, so that they don't think that they to tell me what thing to do. You understand? Like, you see, don't you think it's better when you just do blah, 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 blah. So tell him that thing you wanted to tell him. Connect to him. Okay. Connect to him. Hold his shoulder. Connect to him. Exactly. So what that is it. Connect with him. Make him know that he's putting his entire creativity in your hands. Do you understand? So connect with him. Make him know that you can trust me. Do you understand? It's psychology. So when you take a guy, this and that, that when he can trust you, he, he's giving himself to you to be directed, okay? Talk to him. Finish. Yes, come, another thing I'm gonna tell you. Come, 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 come. After talking to him, right? You have told him what to do. As you're walking by, acknowledge her. 
as you're going, everything right, like, that's it. Then she knows that director like me. Do you understand? That's how to do it. Go ahead. <laughs> did, what did you tell them when, before the clap? Yep. You said that was good, right? I said that was good. Okay. Good. Then you now go and meet them and say, wow, that was really good. I say, God, that's, that's it. Then, Should I have that? Mm -hmm. No, no, don't have that. No, just, just go and say, man, that was really good. It touched me. Then you now say, okay, I want to take a two shot now. So can you people stand? Let me frame you before we go. Do that. Whatever the world is, we, we made it what it is today, okay? So as people who are working towards changing their communities, changing their lives, changing the future of where you come from, you must understand that it is these differences that makes us who we are. It is not meant to destroy us as it has done to some people. It is meant to bring us together, bring the best in us, and make us good, okay? Ethnicity, you know, and we haven't made much progress in addressing conflicts disagreements that we have because we are always turning towards ethnicity. So, this session now, we'll be dealing with how we go make sure, say, this experience where we get today, all the things we're on I don't learn, it go become something that will be continuous. What I'm saying is that as a citizen, you have responsibilities. You have responsibility to uphold the law of the state, the law of the land. You have responsibility to live in a friendly relationship with other people. You have a responsibility to do everything that is necessary to advance your country and your people. So God has given all of us different talents. And so we need to try to know which talent God has given us. It's good that we identify that we don't have the talent to sing. But you may have talent to write something, you may have talent to produce people, you may have talent to package people well. And so that's the talent you should use. I'm on target. I'm looking at game changers. I'm looking at powerful Nigerians. I'm looking at Niger Deltans with a difference. I have no doubt at all because I've just seen it on your faces. I know that whatever you do here is not going to end here. We are giving you tools. After you are going to have to run with these tools, empower yourself, empower your families, empower your state, your LGA, your state, and empower this country. I thank you. So you're not small. You are actually too big to make an impact. So begin to see yourselves as doing, doing, making an impact in your society, in your community, amongst your peers. The essence of this project is to see how we can come up with an alternative ways of addressing violence. Non-violence means to address violence. Let us resort to other ways of addressing violence. But every opportunity that comes your way, make the best of it. It is for you to identify that this is an opportunity, make the best of it. It may not happen again. That's what I want to leave with you. Thank Congratulations. You, I'm bearing the name a director. Just to become a filmmaker is not an easy task. My first time for being a producer, and my UPM is very, very hard. As a director on set, uh, because of some challenges that we are going through. Soon, I will get to the higher level. Before the others go reach them, I don't climb past them. I stand for peace, and justice is mine.